fight! Hey guys, this is Versatile from VSC Power now holds and I'm proud to Phoenix Media. In today's video game tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a PC, or in my case, a Sony PlayStation 2 game controller, emulate Xbox 360 game controller for the PC game Dying Light, and it's awesome. So how does this work? Go to the more info section. We got a link to where you want to get the latest copy of X360 CE. It's going to be a zip file, so download this version, 212191, and go ahead and also download X64 libraries. So once you got those two zip files downloaded, go into your main Dying Light game folder and now we're going to go ahead and extract the x360 program so go ahead left click and drag that out of zip file and run the program this assumes that your game controller is already plugged in so they ask you to create an i9 file as well as a dll file so let's go ahead and say yes to both those prompts and then um, go ahead and search for settings both locally and then also online if you're curious about the type of ps2 adapter i'm using take a look in the bottom the corner of this video so we're waiting and we see that it crashes so what i'm going to do is do it one more time and see if it works. So we're going to search for locally. And then I'm going to search again for my controller port 2. And then now it's working finally. So what we're going to do, for some reason it's all jacked up. I don't know why that is. But here we see A, B, X, Y is working. Analog is working. Select star is working. But the D-pad is not working yet. Not a problem. Just go to D-pad. D-pads. D-pad 1. Okay, great. Now we see the D-pad is working. Click on save and we're good to go. Next thing you want to do is extract the x64 game library. So go into that zip file, go ahead, take everything out of here, drag and drop it into here, copy and replace, and you're good to go. Now when you run the dying light, it's going to say like a version mismatch. So what you can do is go into the x360 CE program. So let me bring that over here, the INI file. Here is a version equals one, file, save, and I'll take care of that error. So all you gotta do now is literally start your game and your game controller should be instantly recognized in the game. So with that said, let's jump straight into the gameplay footage tutorial. Let's do this. All right, here we are at the main menu of Dying Light. So let's do this. So here's my Sony PlayStation 2 game controller. So if I go to options here and go to controls, we see is it says Xbox 360 game controller. If I press the X button, which is square on the Sony PlayStation 2 game controller, we see here's the menu layout. Awesome. So let's go ahead, let's go back, start the game and continue my progress. And I show you proof that yes, this does work Let's using a Sony, Sony PlayStation 2 game controller. Hopefully enough. your PC game controller we'll also works and, and you'll be able to run around, slay the zombies, the the um, go through insane. your inventory, stuff like that, and have a lot of good times here. Okay, so here's my camera, here's the right Sorry. analog stick. What's going on? Clearly my guy is looking around, so that's awesome. Some games are sort of messed up, it doesn't okay. work like that, Give but this one does. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and run this back way. I know co-op mode is enabled. That's great. Thank you. Let's go ahead. I'm going to jump through the hole here. And then here's my R2. I'm, you know, here's my, you know, what do you call it? Piece of wood, nailed plank. And let's go hit a zombie here. Show you proof that, yeah, this is real. This is not BS. Game controller. m Xbox used to be game controller. A lot of good times. Yeah. Come and get me, biatches. So that is today's video game tutorial. You guys have any nitpicky questions in the comment here? On YouTube page, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.